In this video, I'm going to take you through how to install and set up and overall get started with Shared Flight. So first thing you're going to want to do is head over to sharedflight.com and then you'll be met with this page and it gives you a whole spiel about the program. And then if you haven't done already, you're going to want to create an account. So press sign up now and fill out all this information and then you will have a shared flight account. You need a shared flight account to, before you do anything further. So do all that. You may have to confirm your email and all that sort of stuff. Follow the instructions. And then once you've got an account, you can head down here and click download to download the, the latest version of the Shared Flight plugin. Just save it to your downloads folder and begin downloading. You don't need to initially subscribe to anything. You can see that you can join flights on the free subscription tier, so you're all right there. If you want to create any flights, then of course you'll have to upgrade and it's not a ridiculous amount of money and I would highly recommend it. So we've finished downloading. Make sure you extract the folder now. So I'm just going to click it, up, extract up here. And I extract it to the usual place. Make sure you click extract, otherwise none of this will work. And then I'm simply going to check that I've got everything here. So you can see there's a second folder. You can see here, this is the plugin stuff that you would normally have with any X-Plane 12 plugin to check out my tutorial on installing plugins. So I'm going to go back here and I'm simply gonna open it once. So there's the shared flight folders here. And then if you went in again, you'd see the plugin. So just go back once and then go to your x 12 folder. And then like normal for installing any plugins, you're gonna go to resources, plugins, and then you're simply gonna want to cut and paste it in there. So I'm select it, control and X on the keyboard or command and X on the Mac. And I'm gonna go back here and see all my other plugins. And I'm simply gonna paste it. And there we have it. You can see here's the plugin. Now, before you load up Xplain, there's one extra thing that you've got to install. If you haven't done already, you need to install the latest version of Better Pushback. I'll put the link to this in the video description. But you must get it from this link because it includes stuff that's related to shared flight just so it works properly. So yeah, you've got to download and install this version of Better Pushback to make sure it works properly with Shared Flight. So I'm just going to download that and install that as well. Here you go, and extract it. Here you go, here's Better Pushback, and I'm just going to do the same, Control and X, and then back to the Plugins folder. I'm just going to go Resources, Plugins, paste it in here and you may already notice that I already have Better Pushback installed so it's just going to ask me to override the files but if you don't have Better Pushback already installed then it won't come up with that. So now I'm going to open and run X-Wing 12. Now X-Wing 12 is loaded I'm just going to load into a flight. Just load into a plane that shared flight compatible, so I'm just going to load into the Zebo. Now that I've loaded into x 12 into a flight, I'm just going to open the plugin. So go up here, plugins, shared flight, show main window, and then you'll probably be met with this screen if you haven't previously installed shared flight. So here you're just going to want to sign in. It's exactly the same details as you put in on the website. I'm just going to sign in now enable auto login because why not and then log in and then you can create a flight you may have to select the one that's most relevant to you so here would be just the zebra mod and then you may want to come down here to settings and then select what you want i would suggest putting in your sim brief username or id and then that will mean that you can get the ofps to sync across and so it'll be a lot better so just select the settings you want and it'll auto save it all personally i prefer all this if you're looking to where to find your sim brief ofp just gonna want to head to simbrief.com go to account settings pilot id just copy and paste that in or type it in if you want to create a flight i think you have to be on the premium tier and you can of course upgrade via the website so if you just go here to shared flight and then log in and then this is what it looks like you can also download the plugin from here 
And then you can upgrade. I think there's multiple options up there that you can upgrade to. And of course, if you need any more help at all with a shared flight, do check out the knowledge base, which I'll put a link to in the video description. So yeah, I think that concludes the tutorial. And if you want any more future tutorials, shared flight or not, do let me know in the comments below. Yeah, any questions, do let me know in the comments below. Hope you all have fun flying shared flight and there will be more streams to come. Thanks for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you did find the video useful at all.